Hello and welcome to the Run Testers. My name's Nick and this is our first run review of the Kipran KD900X. So the KD900X is the carbon plate running shoe from Decathlon. I've been very excited about this shoe all year, waiting for it to come out and it's finally landed. Why am I excited? Well, because Decathlon makes really fantastic gear at a very good prices in general. I think all their running gear offers really good value and hoping they might be able to pull off the same kind of trick with their carbon plate shoe. It only costs £130 in the UK, it's €150, Euros. don't have the US price as yet. I couldn't get those details at the launch today in the UK. I'm sure that price will come out in a due course. It has an eight millimeter drop from heel to toe, and this is a UK nine, an EU 43.5 that weighs in at 249 grams uh, or 8.8 .8 ounces. So it's pretty lightweight. It's not 200 grams like things like the Vaporfly, but you know, that is around the same weight as the Alpha Fly 2 in my size, for example. It's got a very, very lightweight, thin mesh upper with very minimal kind of cushioning around the back there and then not really anything on the tongue. That whole upper has just been designed to keep the weight down while holding the foot in place during fast runs. And then you have a P-Bax foam in the midsole. It's called V-Foam, uh, it's Decathlon's new foam. They've only got it in this shoe so far and it is paired with a full length carbon plate. Now see, the best, some of the best foams on the market, things like Nike Zoom X are made from Piva foams as well, but they can have a very different feel. This feels much firmer to the touch than Zoom X, for example. So just have to see how it feels on the run. So you've got, you know, you've got a Piva midsole and a carbon plate. There's a kind of classic super shoe ingredients, but what Decathlon has really set out to do with the shoe is um, focus on durability, which is not something that's typically associated with carbon shoes. Sometimes they're a bit underrated in how long they'll last, I think, but you know, typically at their absolute best, they might be looking at kind of 300, 400K um, as a kind of upper limit, whereas the Catalan is saying this shoe is gonna last a thousand kilometers. So, you know, they've done a lot of testing with it. That's a big, exciting claim. And if it is a shoe that performs well for a thousand kilometers, that's a huge string to its bow, especially given the low price point. Then on the outsole, you've got a fair bit of exposed foam. You've got a cut out there to show off the carbon plate. And, but you've got kind of, Good rubber coverage on the key impact areas at the heel and forefoot. It's a fairly thick layer of rubber and it you know, looks very grippy. I'm interested to see how that goes um, on some wet roads at some point. So like I said, I was at the UK launch today where we did a kind of little 5K shuffle and then I've taken the show out again this afternoon to try and get more of an idea of how it feels and whether we really do have a very good value carbon shoe on the market at last. So on fit, uh, I generally wear a UK 9 in shoes. I'm a small UK 9 and usually I'm okay in an 8.5 as well. Uh, so with the KD 900X, I asked for a UK 9 and it was a bit big, the one they gave me. It was a U EU 44. So I sized down to an EU 43.5, which is still listed as a UK 9 on the little tag here, but it was a much better fit. So I would say if they are doing half sizes and EU sizes for this shoe, it probably really would be worth trying a few on or trying to get your exact size right down to that EU half size to get the best possible fit from it. Because I was slightly down on what would be my normal size, even though this is still listed as a UK nine. So yeah, worth investigating, I reckon, to get the perfect fit. So I'm just heading out to do my first run in the Kip Run uh, KD900X, the 130 pound carbon plate running shoe from Decathlon. I'm pretty excited, did I? Went to the launch this morning here in the UK and I did kind of an easy 5K there, um, but not much to tell from that. It's kind of mooching around. Uh, it was a pretty firm shoe, but expecting it to break in a little bit. Today's run, so I'm doing a 45 minute easy to steady run. So just start nice and easy, get myself moving again. And, and then by the end, I'll pick up to around kind of 335, 340 a K. Usually, anyway, we'll see how it goes today. I tend to run these ones on heart rate. Anyway, uh, looking forward to seeing how the shoe performs. So all done, uh, ran just kind of about 11.3K in the uh, 45 minutes and ticked up quite nicely towards the end there. A few Ks like kind of down in the mid 330s. Um, yeah, the shoe felt better as the, as the run went on for sure. It's got a nice pick up. You are getting some bounce from that foam for sure. It's still firm. Uh, the foam almost reminds me a little bit of the kind of recycled um, neck percent. Uh, of the recycled Zoom X foam you're finding in some shoes at the moment. It's got a slightly firm feeling there is a bit of bounce there. It gets better over time. I'm hoping that'll be the case of this shoe. It's, um, you know, I 11K there and there was no kind of comfort issues there, but I think this would be a shoe that would, it feels like this for the whole time. It's probably gonna be a bit too stiff and firm for some people to use for a marathon, certainly. Uh, it's not got the same kind of squishiness of, uh, you know, most super shoes these days. So yeah, interesting start like that. <laughs> so it's a shoe that's gonna probably hopefully be a nice slow burner 
with this durable design of the foam just gonna get better over time but first couple of runs it's gonna be stiff and firm and if you pick it up that's what you're gonna feel like on the first couple of runs out of the box you might be a little bit unsure about it um, so but it's the pace is there you know it's a speedy enough shoe it's not got the kind of wow factor yet but yeah i'm looking forward to doing a lot more running in it just to see if that if that ride changes a little bit over time so after the first run in the uh, kd 900x um, i'd say i'm still excited about it probably a little bit less excited but i think there's still a lot of potential there uh, it is a firmer ride than i probably expected but not in like an uncomfortably harsh way i just really stressed that like i felt comfortable and protected on the run today my legs weren't getting kind of rattled as i was running around the streets today earlier i'm not sure if it stays at this kind of current level of firmness and stiffness i'd be using it for a full marathon myself though so, Plenty would, I'm sure, um, but I'm hoping still that it will soften up a fair bit. They, that's what they said basically at the launch today, the guys have been testing it, that because it is built to be very long lasting, it is gonna soften up a fair bit in those first few runs. So certainly that'll be something we talk about in the full review down the line. It certainly felt like I had the speed there, like it's, you know, it's not the lightest shoe, but it, it certainly feels very light on the foot and you do get a good responsive feel from it when you start to pick up the pace a little bit. Can we look at the other budget shoes in the carbon realm? There's the Reebok Floatride Energy X, which uh, I wasn't a huge fan of, like it was a perfectly nice nice shoe uh, it had a reasonably smooth ride uh, it's the same price as this it's 130 pounds in the uk but it didn't really feel at all like a super shoe to me it felt like a really solid long run shoe or training shoe um, and it was nice to use but i think you can get you get better general training shoes at around the price than that i think the 361 flame now that i think is a very good budget carbon shoe that it's quite hard to find sometimes i'll say that and the price seems to jump around from territory to territory but that impressed me from the off i think it's really fast i think it's slightly lighter in the shoe a bit softer and bouncier so that is a really good option to look at if you are looking in this kind of area i think maybe the problem these budget shoes are going to have is that it is kind of now possible to get top tier carbon super shoes around the kind of 130, 140, 150 pound mark. I've certainly found that to be the case myself when I'm looking around sales. I bought some Alpha Flies recently off eBay for 100 pounds, brand new. But you know, if you don't want to go on eBay, I, I had several opportunities to buy those Alpha Flies uh, from websites and sales for around 130, 140 pounds, and the Vapor Flies usually there as well. So. This, I think, will still have some uh, appealing qualities to it. It might not have the performance of those shoes, but it's gonna be more stable. It certainly felt more stable today on the run than those shoes, and it really should be long-lasting if it lives up to all these claims, you know, around the kind of durability that uh, Decathlon have made. So, so that, you know, could give it the potential to be a fantastic training shoe, at least. Certainly one I'm looking forward to getting out and again, and we'll get our full review up as soon as possible. So guys, it's our first run review of the Kipran KD900X. Let us know what you think in the comments. Are you excited about this shoe? Do you like Decathlon in general for your running gear? Uh, please like, subscribe, ring the little bell, and we'll see you next time on the channel.